so today in this video we shall learn to find gcf of hcf of 7 and 21 and here we shall find out gcf of hcf by two method first one by divine factorization method and second one by division method so let's find out gcf of hcf of 7 and 21 by prime factorization method so while finding out gcf of hcf by prime factorization method first of all we have to factorize the given numbers so we have numbers are 7 and 21 so let's factorize 7 so it is 7 times 1 means it is 7 in the same way we shall factorize 21 so it is 3 times 7 means 21 like as 7 times 1 means 7 so as you look here we have find out the prime factors of 7 and 21 so from these prime factors so we can write 7 is equal to from here it is 7 in the same way we can write 21 is equal to from here it is 3 times 7 so as you look here we have written the prime factors of 7 and 21 now we determine the common factors in these prime factors so here is 7 and here is also 7 so 7 is our first common factor like as here is 3 which is non-common factor and as you know we are finding here gcf of hcf so gcf of hcf is the product of all common factors so common factor is only 7 here so 7 is the gcf of hcf of 7 and 21 so in this way we can find out gcf of hcf by prime factorization method so now our second method is by division method so let's find out gcf of hcf of 7 and 21 by division method so while finding out gcf by division method we have to divide the greater number which is 21 with the lesser number which is 7 so while dividing it is 7 times 3 means it is 21 so at last we have here no remainder so at last we have no remainder there and the divisor 7 is taking no remainder at last therefore 7 becomes the gcf of hcf so while finding out gcf of hcf by division method first of all we have to divide the greater number with the lesser number and while dividing if there comes no remainder then the divisor becomes the gcf of hcf therefore we can write gcf of hcf is equal to 7 so in this way we can find out gcf by division method so this much for today and if you have any question from math then just comment your question in a comment below and we shall provide a video solution of your question so thank you